What's going on everybody? My name is Josh Washburn of Washburn Fabco and today I'm going to be talking about the IHS Air on the Long Mirror Systems Crossfire XR. I believe this problem is probably applicable to any of the Crossfire machines that are running fire control. So what I had going on was a little green light at the bottom of my screen popping up that was an air for the IHS. Usually the green light pops up when the tip of your torch makes contact with the steel but it was popping up green pretty much anywhere in the cycle. So I was having this problem when I was cutting out some production parts from a G-code file that I've been using for the past two years. So I know it's not a settings thing and it was nothing to do with my files. What it was doing was it would make a couple of the cuts fine and then randomly throughout the process, it would throw the air code, but before it threw the air code, the torch would come down to the steel, make contact, and then it would come up to where it needed to cut, and then it would like stutter on its way up, and it would get about an inch off of the steel itself, and then the torch would fire at nothing. I wrote up a description of my problem on the Longmer Systems Facebook group, and right away I got a response. I definitely recommend joining their group if you have one of these tables. There's a lot of knowledgeable people in there that can end up being very helpful if you're having problems with your tables. I did exactly what I was told on the forms and it seems to be working now after doing some test cuts. So I'm going to show you guys how I took care of this issue and how you can resolve it if you're having the same issue as I did. Here's what the air code looks like. IHS failed. The torch is not in the expected initial state before starting the IHS cycle. This may be caused by the following. Unsufficient slack in your torch cable and to make sure that your cables are plugged in which were neither of my issues. You're gonna start by taking off your Z-axis cover and removing your torch, and then what I did was run it through a couple cycles up and down, and then I took a little scrub pad and some water, not a whole lot, because you don't want it too wet, and I just scrubbed the guide rails to make sure there was nothing in there that was hanging them up. After that, I used some compressed air to blow it all out to get any moisture out, and then I started reinstalling the torch. What I forgot to show here was that I used some quick drying WD-40 silicone spray on the screw that the Z-axis travels on. You want to make sure not to use a wet lubricant so that no dust sticks to it and would cause any further damage to the machine. Once the machine was reassembled on the Z-axis, I did some test cuts here and it all seemed to work out good. This solution worked for me, so hopefully it'll work out for you too. This is what I used to spray on the travel screws. Hopefully if you were having this IHS fail code, this video helped you resolve your issues. If you're new here, don't forget we're doing a giveaway at 3,000 subs. We're going to be giving away something Yes Welder or Art Captain related. We're not sure yet. Let me know in the comments what you want to see given away. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.